Hi, I'm Mackie from Sunny Texas Houses. This video is an introduction to the 3D model of the cowboy cabin. You may have already purchased the 3D model, or you may be thinking about purchasing the 3D model, uh, but this video will show you the features and how to use them. The first step, obviously, is to purchase the 3D model from our online store. You can find our online store at store.puresalvageliving.com. And at the moment, it's one of our feature products. It is our first feature product uh, because we just launched it. But if you come into this a little bit later, it may not be. You can go to our download section. In the download section, you'll find it there. Click on the link. You'll be taken to the product page. And then you'll, there's a description, images, explains the cowboy cabin. And then you'll be given some options. You can either purchase the 3D model on its own or you can purchase it uh, in the full Monty package, which includes the PDF plans and the 3D model in one for one low price. It's a really good deal, and I highly recommend it if you're serious about building a house like this. Once you've downloaded it, uh, you will find a file that will look something like this, cowboycabinmodel.zip. Simply double-click it, and it will unarchive, the zip file is just an archive file, into this file which is says SKP at the end. And SKP is for SketchUp. This file was created in SketchUp and you'll need SketchUp in order to view it and use it. SketchUp is a free program downloadable from the internet. Just go to SketchUp.com. You see it's spelled like Ketchup but with an S at the front. You download it here. There's a red, red button here. Download it. Follow the instructions and install it on your computer. Uh, there are some fantastic video tutorials on the SketchUp.com website if you want to learn more about SketchUp, but it's not necessary for this for this file. Um, you can use it just using the instructions in this video. Okay, so once you've downloaded and installed SketchUp, you can double click on that file, the Cowboy Cabin Model SKP double click and it will open in SketchUp which is what I have here. Here's the file and um, this is a fully three-dimensional version of the actual building. The first thing you want to know is how to move around. This tool, the orbit tool, looks a little bit like two arrows fighting. Click on that and you can click and drag anywhere on the screen and then drag around and it moves the model just like you're holding your hand. Go all the way around. You'll also notice that along the top there are a number of views. I've saved these views for you so that you can quickly and easily move around the model and get the convenient views that you need. So we can go back to that front view. That was the view you saw just a moment ago. We can go inside for the kitchen view. See it takes us inside the house. We can, this shows us the kitchen. The bathroom is behind there. This is a storage closet and up that ladder is a loft. The living view will turn us around and now we're looking from the kitchen out to the living room. The built-in storage is here and the ladder going up to the second loft is right here. Uh, there's bath view, bathroom view here. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Coming back to the Beginning, you'll see we have a floor plan view, which gives you kind of a rough floor plan, um, showing the kitchen, the bathroom, the closet, and then the living area with the built-in. There's also a loft plan, so this just takes you up a level so you can see the two lofts, one loft here, one loft here. And then <clears throat> there's a front view, which shows you the front elevation of the house, a back view, uh, both side views are here. And then there are interior views. So this gives you the same view, but from inside. So now we're seeing the front wall, but from the inside. This is really handy for planning out your interiors. This gives you the back view. You can see more of the fixtures here, the ladder, the kitchen, the bathroom. Really great, really handy to be able to move around your model like this. And of course you can do this, which will take you to side two. And that shows you another view looking through the building. Click on front view and it takes us right back to where we were before, a perspective view from the front. 
So that's great. Easy to get around, easy to navigate. But you'll notice here that we have a long list and these are the layers. If, if your layer window is not open, it should be open by default in SketchUp, but if it's not, go to Window and you'll find in the list Layers. If it's not there, you can just click on it and then it appears. Uh, this long list of layers is uh, all of the components of this model are organized into these layers. And the layers have been ordered very carefully starting from the very first step all the way to the very last step. And they're in the same order that we use to build the, the, the house so that you can literally follow this step by step and add each individual layer and see exactly what needs to happen next. It's really fantastic. So starting with the foundation, you can see we can turn off the foundation. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll just go through and turn everything off initially. And then we'll build it up layer by layer, just like I was describing. Don't worry, I know this looks a little messy. Don't worry about it. Okay. So obviously the first step is a good foundation. These are the piers. And as before, you can pan around to see a better view of them. The next step is the floor. Click on all. And then this turns on all the layers of the floor. You can see that's number 10. Floor is called number 10. And that turns on all layers. Now we can turn these off individually like this, and now we see, so starting from nothing, the first step is to lay the beams. This shows the beams in place. The next step is the nailers. These are what the joists rest on. See the, as I turn that off and on, you'll see where the nailers are. The next step is the joists. That's pretty obvious. Then the blocking, which holds the joists in place. Then you put the subfloor, laid at an angle, to make the floor mo more dimensionally stable. And then the last step is to put a the finished floor. Now each of these sections is arranged in very much the same way. So the next step is framing. I click on framing and now you'll see that we have the entire wall structure of the house in one fell swoop. I can turn these off and on individually so we can see, turn the loft beams off, and we can see how we would construct this. Normally we'd start front, back, side, and side. And then the loft beams come in last. The next step is the roof. And again, we can turn these things off and then build that up layer by layer. Joist, decking on top of joist, underlayment, and finally the corrugated you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in at any time. So I'm now just scrolling in so that you can see the detail of the corrugated, corrugated roof. You can see that that's actually a corrugated roof. This model is extremely detailed and should be very clear. Now as you're framing, of course, you can zoom in, get any view you like. How do you frame a window? There it is, right there. Now this is a good time for me to introduce another tool in SketchUp. It's called the tape measure tool. You can just press the T on your keyboard for tape measure, and now you can measure from any point to any point. The purple dot tells you where you're measuring from, and then the, the purple dot tells you where you're measuring to. So you can see that says two foot four. So I can move all around the model, taking any measurement I like. I can find the vertical distance of that, which is eight foot seven and a half. I can find from the top of the plate to the bottom of the floor plate. I need to zoom in in order to get the, an accurate measurement. There you go, nine feet. So 
So that's an introduction to the layers. Uh, let me go back to the front view. This turns all the layers back on, so we return right back to where we started. And actually now let's go to the bath view. Now I've set up the bath view. Let me scroll down here. Interior. And you can see that I've turned off, see the layer that says bathroom walls? I've turned off bathroom walls just so you can see this more clearly. There were two configurations on this house. Originally it was set up for, as the bath shop house. Uh, and in this configuration it had clawfoot tub and a day bed. So you can see I've got a layer right here for that bath drop layout. Turn that off and those go away. Now the next layer below is Cowboy Cabin, the second layout. I click on that and the, the features of the Cowboy Cabin come into place. Our signature shower with the roof tin panels. And this is a built-in closet and a built-in storage unit uh, opposite the closet. Again, you can see if I turn the bathroom walls on, the bathroom walls come back into place. And this is how it was actually constructed. But again, the bathroom walls are just turned off for clarity. So you can see the, the layer list is long and it's extensive. Click on the front view and we'll return to the front view. So that does it for the introduction to the 3D model of the Cowboy Cabin. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and we'll respond with an answer as soon as possible. Otherwise, good luck with your projects. And as always, thank you for supporting Tiny Texas Houses.